Welcome to another episode of Destination Recreation. I am your host, Greg Morris, Recreation Supervisor for the City of Novi. I hope you are sitting down because today's episode is a big episode. Youth basketball, youth volleyball, Olympic ice dancing, light up the night, and Chinese dance will all be featured on today's show. To celebrate this mega episode, it is also a good time to let you know that Destination Recreation received the Michigan Recreation and Parks Association Marketing Award for Outstanding Video. It is an exciting time to take part in the many programs in the city of Novi, and we hope you have enjoyed the journey. Have fun watching this mega episode, and we will see you at the conclusion of the show. Basketball doesn't start in front of 10,000 fans. Basketball doesn't start at a big name university. Basketball starts here, in your hometown gym with a bunch of kids. They aren't playing for a championship. They aren't playing for a reputation. They're just playing to have fun. Basketball? It starts with Novi Youth Basketball. My name is Joe Schertzinger. The program tonight is a basketball program designed for beginning to intermediate players. Seven to 10 years old, and it's great for boys and girls. right now is, is trying to improve their accuracy in passing. So what they're doing is one line is rolling a hockey puck and the other line is trying to bounce past the ball to hit the hockey puck and knock it over. I started the company with the intention of improving kids techniques and skills, and really starting them off with a sound foundation so that when they move to higher levels or into leagues through the Novi Parks and Rec, that these kids are equipped with the skills and knowledge that they need to participate at a higher level. We're trying to instill camaraderie and, and teamwork and effort. It's teaching them to be tolerant of each other and of other ethnicities. It's teaching them to I, although they might come from different worlds and different backgrounds, they're working as a team. The excitement on their face when they make that first basket at a 10-foot level is so exciting for them, and that's what we're striving for little steps to get them to achieve what we're trying to get them to achieve. From 5.45 to 6.45 on Wednesdays, they come in once a week, they learn a skill or two each week, and then we play games. Depending on the number of weeks, we either run uh, one or two six-week programs every semester. Contact the Novi Parks and Recreation Youth Programs and request the basketball program. It's Basketball Skills and Scrimmage with Coach Joe, Leisure Unlimited. These are great kids. I have a blast teaching them. And you saw all smiles at the end, and they were having a great time.
handled by softball coach. Assistant softball coach. I really enjoyed the experience and I, I just thought I wanted to coach again, so I wanted to coach volleyball. So I recruited my friend Corey uh, Weber and Corey. And we, uh, we set up a, a mat in my backyard for six weeks. And we had my daughter, his daughter, and his niece. And uh, we practiced, we invited all the neighborhood kids together. We formed a team and we ended up with 10 girls. 10 girls and the ability that they show them from day one where some couldn't even hit the ball from today was just extraordinary. Everybody contributed. Everybody worked very hard. Yeah. I've never had a background as a player, so I must have spent 80 hours on YouTube just researching different videos, how to coach girls, and different uh, footwork techniques, and how to serve underhand, and just different stuff, and I really, really enjoy it. They love the practice, they love the game. We're just so, we're so proud of these girls. No ride girls, girls from right and commerce. We're, we're just so appreciative of the, the parents that so supportive. Ice dance is just an art in itself. It's kind of, in layman's terms, it's kind of like ballroom on ice. So a lot more, you know, a lot more about lines. It's more about the footwork and being together, the synchronization, the relation with each other. Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Logan. And we represent Team USA. I started when I was six and a half or so, and I was just involved in all sorts of sports and instruments and activities to keep me busy when I was younger, and then skating just stuck with me my entire life. I had a similar story. Um, my sister also skated, so I kind of got in, into skating because of my sister, and it was something for us to both do. <laughs> so our parents put us on the ice together, and again, it kind of stuck with me all the way through. I really enjoyed it and continued on. Igor Spielband, I'm teaching ice dance here in Novi, Ice Arena in Michigan. And we have a lot of great skaters, Olympians. It's Olympics coming up in February, and uh, we have a lot of Olympians coming from this rink, training here, actually probably more than anywhere else in the world. We were attracted to Igor and his um you know, his resources and the way he coaches everything. I think a lot of other dance teams wanted the same thing. So, you know, we have Italian teams, French teams, and they originally started training in their home country, but they wanted Igor's resources, so they came here. And they made it work so that they were training here for parts of the year and able to go back home and train there and make it easier to travel to their competitions all together probably could be up to the 12 teams who train here in Nova competing in Olympic Games in Sochi in February um, which is a big deal because it's going to be only 24 teams permitted to compete in Olympic Games and 12 of them train at some point or full-time here in Nova Michigan. There are three disciplines there's singles there's pair skating and there's ice dance. Uh, pair skating and ice dance differ as one has different elements. The elements in pair skating are over the head lifts, as we're dance elements, the lifts are only up to the top of the head. The lifts they're doing nowadays, it's completely different than what it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's become very acrobatic, like we have to involve the people from Cirque du Soleil and they surprise what the kids can do. A lot of, uh, a lot of intricacies, You're very focused on musicality as well. Yeah, we try to capture a storyline from beginning to end, so that's something um, we really try to draw the audience in to what we're saying to each other and what we're trying to say to them. They do compulsory dances, they do it to a certain beat, and they have to change the rhythm. 
and they um, they just have different elements. And now in pair skating, there's not a required beat, and there's uh, free range for musicality. It can be all the same. Dance has different specifications. Pair skating also has jumps and throws and more spins. Dance has crossed over with spins and short lifts and they do not do any jumps or throws. Our short dance is really fun and quirky and um, it's a quick step in Charleston combination and um, I don't know, it's a lot of fun, <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a modern piece but it's got a old kind of 20s feel to it. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of fun with it, R really quirky characters, um, and then and then our free dance is kind of the polar opposite of that. We're doing a, pieces from Spartacus, uh, the traditional ballet. It's lyrical and powerful. A lot of romance involved. <laughs> we have a great team of coaches here. Like I said, it's not only me. It's a very good program. This is what skaters are coming for. Well, I assist Igor and I do a lot of video work and do a lot of work with their technical and timing their lifts, and making sure the spins have the minor right amount of revolutions and that the footwork's look clean and they get all their features. And there are certain elements within the program, such as lifts, spins, footwork, and they all have a certain numerical value. And all has to be executed fluently, effortlessly, and flawlessly in order to get the maximum amount of points. If you do not meet any of those qualifications, your point value starts to go down and deteriorate. So we work with the video and make sure all of everything is within that time frame. We have a great instructor of the MIME, Michael Lee. He's the best person I know to bring up expression, to bring up feeling on the ice, to deliver to the audience. And he's great with this. I have an acrobat, Alec Ushakov. He was working in Circus de Soleil for 30 years and he's a specialist on the, on, on the lifts and again, the one of the best person in the world on this specialty. There's figure skating and ice dancing nowadays, it's pretty complicated sport, so we need to have acrobatic lifts, we need to have beautiful expression, we need to have precise execution of the elements in skating. So I'm trying to bring the people who are really the best in every aspect of, of that. They see a lot of things that, you know, typical skaters don't realize. It's like those little nuances, how we hold our finger, how we hold our arm, you know, the carriage, and all it all comes together, you know, those small things come together to make a, a big impact. Yeah, we, I mean, we also started working with our ballet instructor on the ice, too, to, to work on body line and and carriage and arm movements and yeah. just a lot of detail work. Um, so those four hours on the ice a day are, are spent with various different people working on different types of things. Yeah, we also um, have an acting coach and um, you know he helps us create our storyline and using our breaths to um, emote different emotions because sometimes we get so lost in, our, in the technical aspect that we lose what we're doing with our face. So he, he focuses a lot on that too. People coming from all over the world and they like Michigan and it's a good place and atmosphere to train. Some people want to stay here after they finish skating. I uh, grew up in Moscow, was born in Moscow. I trained there, went to school, went to colleges, moved to the United States in 1990, so almost 14 years, uh, 24 years ago. <laughs> and uh, been in Michigan since, you know, all this time. I was in the Russian, in the Soviet Union, figure skating team. I, Competed Junior World, I won Junior World in 1983, make me look very old. I was done with that, it was pretty logical things for me to start to teach and try to, that's the only thing I know, I don't know anything else. I mean, I'm not good with cars and can do other stuff, not good with math and physics, so, but I know skating, I like skating and I can teach skating. I love teaching. It's it's what I wanted to do since I was 16. I figured that out and I like coming to work every day. It's enjoyable. The kids work hard, so it mean, makes me work harder. When we were both in school, 
it was really hard jumping back and forth, but at the same time, you know, the stresses from school were just gone when you came to the rink and you could put all of your emotion into the program and what we were doing and we could just forget about, you know, all the problems outside and um, kind of get a breath of fresh air before we tackle those problems again. And I don't know, I think everyone deals with hardships every day and um, coming to the rink is just a way of coping with things, kind of. It's your own personal time. It's yeah, it can be, I mean, yeah. it can be your own therapy. I mean, something that we've enjoyed for so long and has been part of our lives forever. I mean, it's really been an escape for us. But at the same time, it's also taught us a lot of valuable lessons. Uh, you know, when we've been involved with school or other things in our lives, we, you know, it's taught us how to time manage, how to, you know, organizational skills, like a lot of things that sometimes people don't learn in a lifetime, you know, and for that, I, you know, I feel very appreciative. You get to know the skaters and they're such sweet, interesting, and they're all great kids. We've been very lucky with the students that we teach. We get to know their families, we get to know their personal sides. A lot of them have graduated this year from college, some U of M and Eastern. Um, a lot of them come from different countries, so we hear a lot of different cultures and traditions. You know, it's really interesting. They've come to be like a small family here. You know, even the smallest things coming to the rink every day can be, you know, a mundane task, but at the same time, it's just exciting to be able to do what we're doing every day. And it's working on those little things that you think are impossible, and then all of a sudden, every day you keep working on it and it becomes second nature. And you're like, wow, how'd that happen? It's light up the night. Uh, it's our annual tree lighting ceremony, but it's so much more. My favorite moments when Santa comes in. Him and Mrs. Claus on the fire truck. Uh, no by fire brings him in. Sirens are going off, and everybody's cheering. That tree lights up, and then we just kick off the event. Indoors we had food vendors from some of Novi's finest restaurants that actually gave away free samples of their food just to show what they offer. Uh, we had entertainment going on in the council chambers, a ukulele player, and Chinese and Mexican dance. We offer free Santa pictures and things like that. On the way to the workshop, it had different posters up in the ceiling that spelled out Light Up the Night in different languages. In between those signs were symbols from holidays that are similar to Christmas. We had a craft show in the middle of the atrium, and then kids crafts as well. But then you come outside, and you've got kettle corn, you've got s'mores roasting to a pet farm with reindeer, uh, hot cocoa being served, and then fire jugglers. And ITC even brought out a holiday float. There's a lot of different things that stimulate the mind and, and make people kind of forget that it's cold outside, but then they have the option to go inside and get warm too. So that's really important to us. Well, we're so excited that the library is participating in Light of the Night tonight. This is a great partnership with our city and we're so excited to be involved in it. We've been part of the event now for three years. We have two magic shows this evening. We have crafts, and we have our Rita Latte Cafe. They gave away some wonderful hot chocolate and kept everybody warm. Uh, also, they have what's called Dan Dan the Choo Choo Man. Uh, so they're given train rides, and they're such a huge partner and, and such a huge part of this event and what we do. It's really nice to be part of a city where the two combine to really create a great event. I just want to thank everyone for coming out. It, it can be a little overwhelming when you have this many people coming, but then my hope is that once they get into the event, they just really enjoy it. Thank you to the city of Novi for supporting our programs and just taking part in an event like this that is just a lot of fun. So.
My name is Pamela Gibson and I am the Cultural Arts Programmer for the City of Novi and we're very excited because we're going to be launching the Novi Civic Dance Company. Our goal with this program is to offer traditional dances such as ballet, tap, lyrical jazz, as well as cultural dances such as Polynesian dance, Mexican folk dance, and the Chinese dance class. What I think is really unique about these classes is that they're really three classes in one. You learn Chinese classical dance, other cultural folk dances, and ballet, which is the foundation of all dance. The Chinese dance instructor, Shihui Zhang, is well known in the Chinese dance culture has been professionally trained in ballet by ballet dance masters in Russia. Also is a certified instructor with the Beijing Dance Academy, which is the top dance academy in China. And so she brought a wealth of knowledge and with that, a lot of the students were very excited to take from her. Her students have been invited to perform and dance at many different ceremonies. Um, here in Detroit at the U.S. Baseball Championships that were held here, and most recently at the City of Novi's Light Up the Night. For parents that are looking for an outlet for a child who is very active, if you have a child that is jumping off your couches or moving around to music, this is a great outlet for them. Not only do they get to extend some of that energy that they have, but it might open a door of a world of dance and they, they might fall in love with and never realize how much it would mean to them. The Chinese dance, ballet, and folk classes, they meet on Friday nights here at the Novi Civic Dance Centers. She offers classes for beginners, and intermediate, and advanced for all ages. No experience is needed. Uh, all levels are welcome. So if it's your first time taking dance or a movement class, uh, you will feel right at home in our beginning classes. If you're someone who has had dance experience and training and you're looking for something different to do, we can offer advanced classes for them as well. What's nice about this dance program is that we do allow enrollment at any time. So students can come and get enrolled any time throughout the entire session. So we are looking to get more information out in the spring and summer, so look for different workshops coming along, and then to have a full kickoff in the fall. If you'd like to enroll or register for dance classes or just to get more information, you can go to the cityofnovi.org website, or you can also call the Novi Parks office at 248-347-0400. We hope you enjoyed this mega episode of Destination Recreation. For past episodes, visit the City of Novi's YouTube page. Continue to tune in each month when we will go behind the scenes of even more programs throughout the City of Novi. For more information on these programs and upcoming recreation opportunities, visit cityofnovi.org or call 248-347-0400. Registrations are currently ongoing for Spring House and Travel Soccer, Boys and Girls Lacrosse, Camp Spring Break, and the theater production of Disney's Peter Pan Jr. Even more reasons to watch future episodes of Destination Recreation. On behalf of the City of Novi, I want to thank you for traveling to a lot of programs today. Thank you, and we will see you next time on Destination Recreation.